What's up, everybody? I'm back in my backyard. I wanted to show you real quick uh, exactly how I get my minnows and how they don't cost me no money. Uh, basically, put them in my koi, koi pond. Got several hundred of them in here, and I also have a bigger pond at my mom and dad's house. So it's actually their swimming pool, about 10 feet deep, that I also stock the babies from here, put them in there, let them get big. And I don't, there's no telling how many minnows are actually in their pool. There's, there's quite a few. But here's just a quick view. I'm gonna throw the GoPro in a, in a trap. I'll give you guys a little time-lapse view of uh, my little minnow pond. <clears throat> that there is just for uh, how the egret come in my backyard and killed probably about 15 koi. Um, so that basically keeps the egrets away from the koi and the blue jays away from the minnows. The blue jays come down and eat the minnows as they pick through the grass in the mornings. But yeah, so if you guys have a pond or anything like that, I would highly advise you stick some minnows in there. Uh, it'll save you guys a ton of money. I'm going to stick this thing in the minnow trap and put it on the time lapse video. Alright you guys, I'm out here at Lake Berryessa, Sunday, December 13th, trying to get some trout. I'm going to stick it out as long as I can, it's raining pretty good, I got soaked this morning, I got it, was able to get in the water by 5.30 this morning, but uh, it was dumping down rain when I was getting set up out there at the boat launch, but, um, so I'll get back with you guys if I get something on the line. About 20 inches long. Nice big old fat boy. I'm gonna go ahead and get this fish back in the water. <clears throat> 